Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. As we have started a estate pro tutorial series, and in this video, I'm going to show that how analysis a beam and also design a beam using our requirement and using our record code. So let's start. First of all, I'll open Estate Pro and after that, I'll go here, New Project and from here, a space, here we'll give a name Beam Beam Design and from here, I'll select Length, Foot and Force Unit, Kilo Pound and here I'll give the location for our file after that next from here I will add beam then finish now I'll consider a 10 feet beam so this is the first point and that is, that is the last point after that press here snap note or beam then here is a 10 feet beam now go here and after that we'll select here node and we'll select node the both two node and i'll go here support panes after that we know that uh, a beam in a building it's contained with a fixed support then i'll go create fixed click here assign or add so i'll directly click asset okay there have assigned a fix support beam now we'll go here for property page so from here define I'll select rectangle beam so here 18 inch I mean 1.5 and width are 12 I mean on fit so it should be concrete then add close after that assign to view because they have only one beam yes it's around then close that and uh, I'm just going fast because in our previous video I have shown you that how will uh, analysis a beam and how will use that all tools so if you're new here you have to watch the previous video so that you can understand about everything after that i'll get, go here load page so first of all we know that it's a uh, first of all we'll go here click load case detail then add and from here dead load okay dead load then go here live load ll live dot and again go here close that and for dead load we know that uh, there have a self weight of that beam so first of all we'll go add we'll click dead load and we'll go here add so first of all self weight we'll click self weight then we'll use self weight in y direction opposite y direction the factor will be minus one so edit then we'll click here member load so we'll use uniform load uh, suppose one keep load one keep fit one keep per fit and it's zy global y axis then add here and uh, I'll go for live load click on live load and then go add and from here member load uniform load and from here 0 0.5 keep per feet and it should be global axis y as I'm going to assign the load over the beam 
that's why I don't provide any value here so add close after all click self wait and click here assign to view assign yes and again uniform load for on keep for dead load assign to view assign again click here unit load uh, zi 0.5 keep per feet assign to view click on assign to view and then assign yes so if we go here click here loading sorry we have done a mistake we have done two mistakes uh, we have to give the value in minus one because then it will show the opposite direction of y close that again for that minus 0 0.5 change close so you are seeing that if we click here for self word for 1 keep for 0 0.5 keep it is for 1 keep and it is for 0 0.5 keep so we have provided a load and everything then close that and after that then after that we'll go ahead analyze sorry first of all command analyze perform analysis no print okay then go analyze and analyze our model save okay they have zero error so go to post processing mode done okay and here is our model first of all for dead load if we go for deflection just press the control and scroll your mouse then this is the deflection and after that click here share force diagram this is the share for diagram again uh, click on it to hide deflection then press on it press the control button and scroll the mouse after that press on it and go here moment mz so this is the moment diagram this is the moment diagram again like uh, press the control and scroll the mouse this is the moment diagram for our model so from our moment diagram we know that for positive moment and for negative moment when the mo moment are here we have to provide the uh, reinforcement in bottom and here we have to provide the reinforcement in top so that is the way to analyze that after that after analysis uh, we'll go here sorry modeling we'll go here modeling and after analysis we'll go modeling again and go here design from here concrete design design then concrete design after that from here we have to select code so who is code will use so I will use ACI 318 2011 ok then from here we have to select parameter so select parameter and press here after that what parameter we need so from here we will take a parameter for FC compressive strength of concrete click on the upper on and after that FI sorry here yield strength for main reinforcement then we'll go here okay then we'll select here that three control and select press control and select that three okay then okay 
press ok now define parameter from here define parameter and uh, for they have three types of clear cover clear cover of outmost bottom reinforcement so I'll give it 30 millimeter uh, sorry that is the feed so it's showing 0 0.12 0 0.125 okay give it default and uh, if you want to change that you have to give the value here in feet after that it's after that it's so they have uh, CLS CLS means clear cover of outmost site reinforcement and here CLT clear cover of outmost top reinforcement here FC compressive strength compressive strength KS KSF so compressive strength 3 KSF 3 kips per square feet and FI 60 yield strength for main is still uh, 60 kips per square feet sorry here is the value uh, here is the value here not KSI it's KSF so I'll close that I'll again go defined so it should be default uh, 576 and you have to calculate suppose uh, they have many grade of concrete um, consider that your concrete is 10 or 3000 PSI so you have to convert that PSI to KSF and after that yield strength suppose you have 60 grade concrete I mean 6000 PSI strength so you have to convert that 6000 PSI to keep per square feet so okay first of all I'll add that second add that third add that add that and add that close that I'm just uh, doing that to teach you not for practical use you have to use that value correctly when you'll use that so press here click on it and assign to view we are going to here assign to view cause there have only one beam that's why otherwise we have to you here assign to selected beam assign to view assign for that again assign to view assign for that they have another tool use cursor to assigning press here assigning and click on it after that assign to selected beam assign after that here assign assign to selected beam assign okay we have assigned uh, every parameter that required for a beam design after that we'll go here command here beam design so add close here beam design so assign to view and assign okay we have assigned everything now we have to go here analysis and again analysis that so we have analyzed then they have two way to find out our structure design data so here first of all view output file they are done so from here you will be able to see the value for our design and you can press a result concrete design so here here you can see that uh, ACI code according to ACI code or beam design the result 
so if you see here here it's showing rpm size was I mean rpm length was 10 feet that's why 120 inch 12 inch and 18 inch and here it's providing reinforcement in top here in top and here in bottom so for top it's showing two uh, four number bar here and here two four number bar in bottom here it's showing two four number bar so for here it's showing that the cross sectional value cross sectional value so for if we take a cross section here it's showing that uh, two bar in top here it's showing two bar in top and two bar in bottom here two bar in bottom two bar in bottom and here two bar in top and two bar in top so here is our data close that and there have another procedure just click on it double click on it and here you will find out your FD data concrete design so you can see it here most clearly that it's provide reinforcement it's provide reinforcement from 0, 0 point to 38.5 inch distance two bar in top here two bar and here two bar in bottom from the distance of 21.58 to 93.42 distance and here again showing they have provided reinforcement here so in that way we can easily design our beam close that you can also print that you can also print that from here for your beam here you are also able to see your beam condition here also you are able to see your loading and here you can select your loading for loading you can also find out your value so thank you thank you very much s12 stay connected till next video